What is up my interwebby type people? Welcome to Shareware where we share the latest and greatest in technology, automotive, pop culture, and the world around us. Now what's one man's controversial military equipment is another man's entrepreneurial billion dollar idea. And that idea is the drone. Now the drone has been a lucrative market for companies like Google and soon to be Amazon, which are both using them to improve services that they already have. And the quadcopter market has soared literally and figuratively in the last few years, helping amateur filmmakers create things that really weren't possible five years ago. I even have one and his name is Goose because I crash him all the damn time. But a new startup has come on the scene with an Apple-esque marketing campaign and the ability to prey on our overactive vanity, and it's called the Lily. Lily is a happy little hamburger shaped sky ninja that many are calling the world's first throw and shoot camera. At about the size of your old Xbox 360 Slim, but half the weight, Lily uses a wrist worn tracking device to track the operator without the need of anyone controlling it to obtain either the perfect shot or a selfie game that Instagram has never witnessed. Hashtag epic. Lily can fly at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour and a constant speed of 18 miles an hour in minimal wind for up to 22 minutes. To get that perfect action shot you've been after all your life. It took a play from the GoPro playbook and uses Sony's IMX117 image sensor, which is the same as the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. It can shoot 1080p videos at 60 frames per second or shoot 12 megapixel stills, both while using digital image stabilization. Lily also offers multiple shot modes, simply at the touch of your wrist or through the app. Lily will lead its subject, follow its subject, or even do an artistic side shot, or a full 360 shot for epic bad boys 2 awesomeness. The wrist worn tracking device and Lily are actually both waterproof also, which means it makes literally any open area an amateur filmmaker scene location. Now it does feel heavy compared to other quadcopters, but that's because of the durable outer casing and the amount of tech they packed into that little hamburger body. Because it doesn't only have to receive a signal from a remote like my quadcopter does, but be smart enough to maintain visual on a subject just by wearing the wrist tracking device. It really does seem like they thought of everything. Audio is even captured through the wrist tracker because a microphone on Lily would be pointless. And when Lily's battery gets low or she becomes too far away from the wrist tracker, it'll hover in place and try to recover the signal. And if it can, it'll go back to the same shooting mode it was in before it lost track. If not, or if it's on the brink of losing its happy little blue eyes, which are the battery indicators, the Lily will slowly fly itself to the ground to avoid injury. Now it isn't all pros when it comes to Lily. There are some cons, but that's always expected with a first gen device. And they needed some reason to make people want version point two whenever that does come out. The issues I've realized and what many other websites are picking up on would be the fact that Lily is kind of bulky and also personally my biggest gripe, which is the fact that there's no object awareness sensor. Meaning that Lily might miss your perfect bunny slope run because she hit a rock or a tree or the ski lift. So keeping that in mind, using Lily in only open areas does slightly hinder filmmaking with an unpiloted drone. Now I do have a feeling that version 2.0 will have that obstacle awareness. I mean, if a Roomba can have it, so can Lily. And personally, right now, I'm willing to pre-order this one at $4.99 just to keep Lily Robotics going for a version two in the future. Now, if you just zoned out and didn't hear me say that you can pre-order Lily right now for $4.99, which is absolutely insane. That's less than most decent DSLRs and the same as the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, which doesn't fly and follow you around. Now, the pre-order at $4.99 does only last till mid-June and then the price will slowly increase up to his MSRP at $9.99, which is still reasonable for a flagship in this field. But this is, in all reality, probably the most excited I've been about a new camera tech in quite some time. Anyways, guys, that is it for this one. Let me know in the comments if you'll be getting one, or if the spec slash George of the Jungle-esque way of not being able to avoid trees comes into play and might keep you out of the market. Like and subscribe, and I will be forever grateful. Love you all. Deuces, kitties.